All right, so today we're going to take a look at the Seiko Magic Deluxe. Uh, the customer is complaining of uh, a leak, so we are going to start investigating. We're going to take off the top of the machine. Ooh. <clears throat> so, customer is complaining of a leak. And as you can see, there's water coming right out of that brass connection right there and leaking all over those electrical connectors. So yes, I'm very surprised that she has not blown a breaker um, with that water dripping over those electrical connections like that. So we're going to go ahead and change out these O-rings and hopefully that will be the full source of her leak. However, Sometimes what happens is there becomes uh, more pressure inside the boiler and then the boiler also starts to leak because the boiler is a clamshell style and essentially that o-ring over time dry rots just like every other o-ring does. So I always put it in the technician's mode. And the reason why I put it in the technician's mode is because then I can control how long the pump runs to see if we have another leak. Especially with this Magic Deluxe, they don't, um, they don't make the uh, electronic board anymore. Yep, yep, yep. So her board, or her boiler, I mean, is leaking. Let me go ahead and give you guys a show of that. However, you'll have to excuse me. I am tethered to an electrical connector right now. So that's the boiler right there. And as you can see, when pressure is applied, water will start to leak out. Them in between the clamshells. So this lady did not get so lucky unfortunately. She is going to need a boiler. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take out the boiler now. Customer has authorized the repair. And we are going to
essentially the whole job. Well, it's making a nice cup of coffee. <laughs> 